post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Okay. So therefore, from there to aging skin is that yes. the minute you see those inflammation changes in the skin, you're actually talking already about aging of the skin yeah. in the simplest way. And over time, if the exposure to whatever brought on the PIH, the pigmentation, or the melasma continues, those develop, you're more familiar with them, tiny wrinkles, those tiny little spots like warts, and then bigger warts, and then event, those are all part of aging because the cells in those areas have, are having either oxidation or the cells themselves are changing, or the cells that produce the chemicals that you know, are anti-inflammatory, are no longer so effective, mm -hmm. things like that. So therefore, there is decreased collagen formation that is normal. You have decreased elastic fibers so that then you start having those tiny little wrinkles around there, the little warty things. Those warty things are already part of aging and development into skin cancer. What With are the time, little warty things? Lentigens? Yeah, some of those warty things are called Seborrheic keratosis. We have fancy names for the different. I was going to say, I'm sure they're not called little warty things. Yeah, 